Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be your Divine Masculine Divine Feminine reading. So it can be for any sign watching and we're going to see what's going on with your Divine Masculine. Um, uh, what's coming up with this energy about this person and maybe what the Divine Femme needs to know as well in this current time frame. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so just an overall um, energy uh, for this Divine Masculine. We've got the Six of Swords, Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords. There is potentially someone here who's trying to move on from you uh, or move on from a situation, but they're not finding it very easy to do that. Um, I feel like with the Six of Swords, this is forward movement, and then it's like a step back here with the Page of Swords. You can see that he looks back. Um, so I get a sense that there's someone here who is uh, still stuck in the past or still thinking about things that have happened in the past as well. Okay, so they're still thinking about the situation. They're trying to move on, but they're trying to protect themselves at the same time. So uh, chances are this person probably is being cold to you, is being distant. Um, and the reason is, is because, yeah, the boat is protection. So I'm not surprised. This is them trying to protect their heart and their feelings and their vulnerability. So they don't want to show, um, they don't want to show you that side. They don't want to show the vulnerability. The Nine of Pentacles, they're not in a steady place, I don't think. Especially Swords is mental energy. And there's a lot of back and forth. So this person is like, maybe they're trying to reason with themselves why they left or why they should stay. They're like, it's like a tennis match in their mind. Some, sometimes they feel really confident about that decision. Um, sometimes they feel like they don't want you back. And then other times they feel like, how will they proceed in their life without you? So I get, you know, there's this back and forth going on. And, you know, the Page of Swords, I often associate regret. Um, so there may be someone here who is regretting Divine Masculine, maybe regretting what they've done um, in a situation. So they're re remorseful or regretful. Because I feel like with the Page of Swords, something he didn't, he could have done, but he didn't. So it's... You know, they, they're regretful of some course of action. That Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, they're not really in a steady place right now. And like I said, it's very up and down, back and forth. It's not like they're consistent. This is just further reiterating the inconsistency that's going on around them. So I get a message here that, you know, they are regretting their decision maybe of um, terminating things, maybe of walking away, of maybe yelling at you or saying bad things or um, not telling you something, you know, keeping a secret from you. Uh, so there's, there's some big time regret um, that may be coming in uh, around them. Will they do anything about this? Okay, all cards reversed, Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords is reversed, Wheel of Fortune, the Devil's on top. Okay, so Capricorn energy, um, but the Devil sits on top here. Normally this card is like this, which means that this, uh, right now, this is like, this person's not feeling very confident about the connection or about what's going on. They're feeling the Devil energy. So they've noticed a pattern. They've noticed it's happening. But I, but I also feel like they may not be in a healthy mind state. Okay, there could be... They could be playing games. They could be doing toxic stuff because when the devil sits on top, it makes us do like toxic things like um, we're driven by our ego and we do things for temptation or selfishness or to try to make someone hurt. So it could be that they're hurting, they're going back and forth and then they've got that devil energy on top. So the chances are they will do something. There's this last column, earth energy. This is the practical what happens in the physical. So they will do something, but it might not be healthy, okay? So they may act on that regretful energy or the back and forth, but it might be like they may do something to make you jealous. 
Um, maybe they'll hook up with someone for the one night. Um, or maybe they'll go on an adding spree online on social media. Uh, maybe they'll talk to the ex that you, you know, have always been insecure about or unsure about. So they may do things that are prompted by the devil's energy. So I might, it's not the healthiest option. Could it be to get your attention? Maybe. King of Swords is reversed, which means this person doesn't want to talk. Um, conversation card is reversed. And then the birds are upside down. When the birds are up, it's um, it signifies things like positive communication, sorting through something, working it out together, talking about it, being open, you know, trying to solve those issues. But that's not what this DM is wanting. Um, they don't want to solve or work through anything right now. But they're not happy being without you either. You know, it's something that they can't win. Um, okay, so Nine of Pentacles. I don't see them taking action right now. Uh, the energies would indicate that this person doesn't want to do that. Um, and we've got like this snail down the bottom. And if it's reversed, the snail's on top. So this is like slow, like slow responses or this person's going to be slower to, in order to deal with everything. It's, they're going to take their time. So um, I don't think... I feel like the, this, like the snail's pace is their way of trying to process everything. It's not going to come to them instantly. It's not like there's an epiphany coming and this person is going to change and be amazing and be everything they couldn't be with you. Um, I feel like it's it's very, very slow growth. Um, but I also feel like there's a message here that if you are wanting this person to do something, they're going to do it very slowly. So again, are they making you wait on purpose because the devil energy is on top? Are they taking their time? Do they know that you're anxious, waiting to hear from them, wanting to hear from them, wanting to repair things maybe? Or if they know how you are, you know, they, they, they may be trying to do some things on purpose. But could also reflect that this, this, I want to move forward yet. No, I don't. You know, it's that they're stuck in their mind. So the, the longer they put it off in their mind, the more it makes sense maybe um, for them. Let's see what's coming up in the near future between you guys. What's coming up next to this DM? Okay, a lot of reversals around this person. We've got the Queen of Wands in Strength. Leo Energy, but it's reversed. Uh, and we've got the Three of Swords, but that's reversed as well. Um, if this person has had options, they might cut down those options. The reversal of the Three of Swords, they might be getting rid of other people. Um, okay. And just being, starting to be loyal or, you know, not, not really partaking and playing around with other people. They might not be interested there or they might be too hurt at this stage to do anything. So the future, so the future, I mean, that, that would look good for the near future, I think, with the Three of Swords reversed. I think that's that's hope because I feel like this is uh, a glimpse of what can change about this person. So if they've lied and cheated or played around with other people, it could ind indicate in the future they're going to sort of let go of that, um, those tendencies. The Strength and the Queen of Wands, though, I feel like this person may start to get more and more jealous over you, especially if you haven't had contact, you guys haven't been in touch. You know, it's the near future is going to bring out like the negative because of these reversals, the negative parts of Leo energy because it's come up twice. So we're seeing things like dominance, possessiveness, being super protective, being super jealous, paranoid, very critical. Like this is the wrath of the lion. So I feel like they might have anger issues they need to work on in the near future or it's going to come up again in this connection. And it's something that you are, are going to sort of put to them. You know, Queen of Wands normally takes action. She's more spontaneous. Um, she's driven by like sexual desire as well. So um, I feel like this person's attitudes towards intimacy and towards maybe sleeping around or being intimate with other people may change. Um, so they may be more understanding of, you know, giving their body away or sleeping with people because it's a big thing to sleep with a person. You know, you connect physically. It's not just that physical connection. It's that energy it's that spiritual so there's you know there's an emotional attachment that starts to be formed there's so many things that factor into that um 
and I feel like they're going to see the gist of it. What's the advice for Divine Feminine watching? What's this one? Knight of Cups reversed. Don't make an emotional offer. Let them come to you. Eight of Wands is communication is coming up. It's a time of self-transformation and growth and time to be honest with yourself. The sun is reversed, so be careful of your immaturity because this person might be evoking that from you. Um, if they are, then chances are it's evoking this reaction where the sun reversed and the negative parts of Aries energy, you know, stubbornness, impulsiveness, also emotional immaturity here. Um, there's something that you understand about this person, but maybe you're choosing not to see it. You're choosing to turn a blind eye or stay in the dark about it. The Eight of Wands is, is some sort of reaching out I see happening. So there may be advice for some of you that you need to reach out or you need to be in touch. But the Nine of Cups is like emotionally don't don't invest into this connection or don't involve yourself if this person can't give you the commitment that you're wanting. You know, Knight of Cups is not about making um, things better. It's, it's, it's actually withdrawing your emotional energy. So the advice of the Knight of Cups is... Um, Try to emotionally detach from a situation, as hard as it may seem. Um, maybe not emotionally detached from the person, uh, like, completely, but you may start to em emotionally detach from the situation. And that's going to make you see things, because I feel like enlightenment needs to happen. And you need to see this person for who they really are. And you need to see this situation for what it truly is. Right now, you're, you may be refusing that. And I feel like maybe you need to take away that fun, playful, beautiful side to you. Because there might be someone here who's not deserving of that right now. You know, they may not deserve your affection and your intimacy and all those other things because this is the inner child reversed so you're you know this can be the inner child inner child is not happy so this is your upbringing your higher self that vulnerable part of you um that's coming up reversed so inner child is like whatever this situation is it's it's evoked some sort of response from your from early childhood or maybe something traumatic that you've had before it may have some connection but trust that you'll grow from this you know beautiful growth happening here elevation um sagittarius energy may be coming up here upright which is good uh and i feel like your energy your outlook your perception is really going to change that okay because they're not sure what they want and they're confusing you in the process but don't emotionally invest in someone that isn't emotionally doing that to you or can't do that to you. Um, that's not to say it can't happen in the future, but as things are right now, you know, it's not fair for you to be the one that's doing all of this. A relationship takes two people um, and it can't be one person doing 80% and the other person doing 20%. You know, it's super unfair on the other person and it's just... You know, it's not a nice feeling and, it, you know, chances are it's not going to be successful and, and chances are eventually you'll you'll tire from doing so much for this person and, and for the relationship, I'm sure. So, um, so don't partake in these mind games that they're doing for attention. Oh, these mind games to see if you still care, if you're still there, if it's going to provoke a reaction. So in a way, they could they could be testing you whether intentional or not, but I feel like with the devil card, it's immature. They, they could go about things differently. Maybe they need time to do that. Again, this back and forth. Um, could be testing you to see if you're jealous, maybe. Um, testing you to get a reaction from you. They could be enjoying it as well. Um, I'll leave it at that, everyone. So thank you so much for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and if you are after a private reading, please feel free to email me. Um, otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to leave behind a thumbs up. 
and um, I'm sure we'll be in touch very, very soon. So uh, take care, everyone. Lots of love and bye for now.